I can't. <laughs> um, for the last couple of Wednesdays, as well as last Sunday, I pray that we have been educating you on the tricks and the schemes of one that is called the devil. It is true that he is always busy, and believe it or not, he is everywhere. On Wednesday night, we start talking about the three areas that the devil is fighting the war. One of the areas is up above your head, right below paradise. And I explained to them that one thing the enemy does, because when you pray sincerely, God answers you immediately. But to discourage you and to depress you, the enemy tries to hold up your answer. I told them this. You can find that in, in Daniel chapter 12 to where as Daniel was praying. And his answer took 21 days to get there. And the angel says to Daniel, the minute you pray, God dispatched me immediately. And he says, once I left paradise, because the enemy sets his kingdom, Lord and God, he said, a fight broke out. God, I would... Now, I got to tell you that if a fight break out concerning spirits in he of heaven, then surely fights going to break out here in the earth. He says, I had to call the archangel to come and help me because I wanted you to get your answer. Can I bless you real good? Whatever you prayed about with sincerity, your answer is on the way. Because you don't know what fight is going on concerning you. But can I tell you something? If you just hold on just a little while longer, that your answer will show up. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. Listen, don't get depressed. You just keep looking for it. And the reason why I constantly say the day might be your day, because everything you don't pray about, God can answer it in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. You cannot give up. You got to keep on expecting God to do just what you requested. <clears throat> so not only is there a, a fight going up, going on above our head, there's a fight going on within the world because we're dealing with the prince of the air. God, y'all. Y'all need to talk to me. And he looks for people that are weak and weak-minded, folk that are carnal and not spiritual, and he attacks, his, he attacks them. And then what they end up doing is contaminating everything around them. He's the greatest manipulator. He uses people, places, and things. And if you allow him to, he'll use you too. But the next, the next battle I, I was telling them on Wednesday is the fight within you. <sighs> Most of us understand the battle above our head. Most of us understand the battle that's in the world. But few of us want to deal with the battle within. Can, can I bless you real good? If you're going to win the other three phases of the, of the other two phases of the battle, you first of all have to conquer the battle that's within yourself. Oh, God, Keith, what are you talking about? You know the enemy don't play tricks on your mind. You don't have a bad doctor report. The first thing he brings to your ear is death. You better know, I said last week, you better know how to rebuke him, not with your mouth, but with the word. I shall live and not die and proclaim the works of the Lord. You better know how to deal with the enemy on God's turn and not your word. Oh, God, y'all got to get there. There's no power in what you say. But there's power in what God says. God said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word, y'all, come on. Listen, listen to what he said. He says, I can't say something, and it goes out and come back to me void. So everything that God said, he says, for the body of Christ, I have equipped you that even when the enemy comes, because he is going to come. He says, you got to put the word on him. Everyone in here, from the pool pit to the back door in the balcony, every one of us is in some type of spiritual warfare. Unless you are not a child of the king, if you are a child of the king, there is some area in your life 
that the enemy is attacking.